everybody, this is me Z here and welcome back to another video. I wanted to discuss a somewhat bittersweet topic with all of you, mostly because it's been on my mind for a really long time and I would also like for it to get it off of my chest. But I am aware that there are individuals who may not agree entirely with whatever I have to say, but let's just keep this civil, okay? Alright, without further ado, let's begin! Alright, so about two weeks ago, I put up a poll on my community tab post asking you all what content you'd like to see on the channel. And turns out, art commentaries got the most votes followed in by story time videos which is a great thing to see considering the amount of interaction I get on my channel. <laughs> also, one more thing, I am working on today's drawing on my phone mostly because I was facing this storage problem on my iPad for a while now and it was starting to get really annoying. So I had to complete the drawing and the editing of this video on my phone and I can hear her screaming from a mile away. <laughs> Um, um, anyways. <laughs> I have to say, it's probably because of the fact that my phone has more storage than my iPad, which I'm not sure how it works, but then again, it works because phones are small, iPads are big, most of the space is taken up by their operating system, letting out my inner computer science student brain right there. <laughs> anyways, so, the topic I wanted to discuss with all of you is why numbers don't matter and here's the reason. Okay, so then again, many people may not agree with whatever I say, but this is something I feel like as a digital artist, we all focus on this one thing quite a lot and we tend to like attach numbers to our art and define their worth by the number of likes we get, the amount of times our artwork was shared, or just even from the number of people who interact with our drawings and throw in a compliment or two. So today I wanted to give you all some life lessons I learned along my journey as a digital artist of six years. Now let's begin. Lesson number one, why you need numbers and why you shouldn't obsess over them. I'll tell you all a little story. So in the middle bit of my journey, there came a time where I became obsessed with numbers. Numbers in terms of growth, because I was really frustrated with the fact that my account was not growing. And this was around, I believe, 2020 when I did not have an Instagram art account. I used to be on this app called Framecast, which is now shut off as of 2021. But that's where I took my start as a digital artist. Anyways, my main problem over there was that you wouldn't exactly get as much engagement until you shared something into somebody else's account which was a feature in that app and the only way you would get engagement was either if you drew for like a specific fandom or just shared art into other people's stories stories accounts <laughs> anyways um at the start it didn't really take me that long to reach about like 300 followers but after that it really did slow down and by the time i grew my account in 2021 i had gathered around like 900 followers i believe and i had started in 2017 which isn't that bad but one thing to take away from here is that don't attach numbers to your art or incorporate them into your art life and obsess over them because constant comparing will lead to you feeling as though you're left behind you're not doing any good everybody's well off without you it's like the old saying comparison is the greatest thief of joy so what i want you to do is try not to think too much about it i am aware that this is easier said than done and i have 
been through this stage not once not twice but multiple times now and it does take you a while to detach yourself from the idea of incorporating numbers into your art account and defining your art's worth by the number of likes followers etc lesson number two do work towards growing your account but take your time just like how a business needs to take its time to grow and reach more potential clients or make any sales a business needs to grow in order to reach out to other people and companies and make a name for themselves in the business world just like that artists also need to first grow their audience and make an art business out of this. I know that this point might sound a little bit strange, but please hear me out for this one. So, as artists, we do feel burnout in the process of having to create every single day, making sure that our drawings are top notch, fully shaded, fully illustrated drawings up on our accounts every single day for people to see and perhaps get a few commissions from the kind people out there because we desperately need them. <coughs> Anyways, so what I would say is that as somebody who hasn't exactly started commissions or their own art business what i would say is that try not to compare yourself yes i'm stating that again because i believe that it's highly important for a person to not compare themselves to somebody who has already started something like a millionaire would not make fun of you for wanting to start a business or an athlete wouldn't make fun of you for wanting to start a brand new sport and the same goes on so therefore take your time do your research practice out art styles you like practice as much as you can gather drawings from your favorite artists and pick out what aspect you like about their drawings be it the lighting their colors their style of rendering shading how they make backgrounds their anatomy etc and then i want you to observe them and try to practice them practice makes perfect sometimes lesson number three don't use social media when you feel burnt out all right once again this point might be a little bit controversial well not controversial but just a little bit questionable so why do i say not use social media because when we're burnt out we tend to scroll on social media for hours on end and we may come across a drawing we really like but instead of actually appreciating it we begin to compare it with our skill level in our minds and we further feel as though that we're not doing good enough and we constantly feel the need to change something while change is good yes change is good if you want to like make your art look better improve it enhance it do whatever but i'm speaking about this any more negative connotation that like you keep on scrolling you see art you're burnt out you have no idea artists block hits you absolutely out of nowhere no creativity juices are flowing in your mind and you're just sitting there trying to come up with the next big hit drawing of yours and by the end of the day you're just exhausted or even drained about the fact that like oh no what should i do nothing is working out what do i do how are other people doing this and the truth my friend is that none of us know what we're doing honestly if you ask like even the bigger artists i'm sure that even they will tell you that there is a point in their lives where they felt like nothing was working out and that they may even felt the need to stop drawing overall or just feel the need to quit which leads me to my next lesson lesson number four which is don't give up okay after all the struggles after all the frustrating moments you finally come to the conclusion of wanting to give up and here's a little story again so i remember that like as a younger artist we feel the need to sort of become 
famous overnight, gain fame, get more followers while forgetting the fact as to why we began drawing in the first place. Was it passion? Do we want to pursue this as a hobby or do we want to turn this into a side hustle or a business? I feel like that the more we give our attention to the fact that we're growing our art for fame and other things, then things aren't exactly going to work out. I believe that one of the most important things we should keep in our mind is that we're drawing for ourselves. While this may even seem too much work to do, which I agree on because even I have noticed on Instagram that if you draw for a certain fandom or something, that's when people will actually interact with you and stuff like that which is why i want to tell you all please draw for yourself make sure you have fun and never ever give up thank you all so much for watching this video and i will see you all in the next one bye